Hello, Demon Gnome is back. And in this video, we're going to have this noob with a gold fruit. He has a new fruit, unlock all its powers, and become pro. Before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel, and this will really help us make better videos. Slam! Oh, they're dancing forward! That's your slam! That's the dunk! Okay, guys, so for those who don't know, there is a King Legacy update. So here is the new fruit, the gold fruit. So guys, let's just start grinding this one. So first off, we're gonna start by eating this. There you go. Tastes terrible, but here it is. Okay, for the first skill, we got the brilliant shot. Guys, you will be using a golden coin to hit your enemy, which is really good. Again, this is the gold, gold fruit, right? So for our first quest, we're gonna eat chicken. This is the best quest to take when you're level one, because one, baby snake quest, we level up your character 19 times. Again, guys, 19 times. That's a lot. Just by eating three chickens. Okay. So we're gonna do this twice. Reach level 20 plus. And after that, start defeating Smokey. Okay, so let's defeat Smokey. I think you need one. Okay. I think three shots to defeat this one. Two and one more time. Three. Oh, sorry. It's four times. <laughs> Forgive me. There you go. So that's a level up. Keep on defeating Smokey until level 30. After that, time to defeat Tashi. So this boss has a low range attack. Check it out. The damage is high, so try to dodge it. See that, guys? I almost died. <laughs> Anyways, you can get the Tashi Blade here. And we're gonna grind there until we reach level 50. Check that out. Again, we're grinding in the public server. Okay, so after that level 50, next stop is the Pirate Island. So here, we're gonna defeat pirates first. Do not worry, the brilliant shot is multi-target, so we can defeat them easily. We'll also unlock our second skill, and the requirement for that is 250 power fruit stats. There you go. We call the new skill 1 million punch, and it can destroy a house. There you go. Also, the damage is good. Anyways, we're gonna start defeating the clown. Let's kill the clown, level 75. So there you go, guys. One. Two, oh, three skills at this level. The more we level up, we can strike. I, I mean, increase our damage, right? So we're gonna keep on defeating this until level 100. Next island is the Soldier Island. We're gonna start here by defeating commanders. So I think you need to defeat four. Guys, if you aim your one million punch properly, you can one hit this mobs. Check that out. I think this is a smoke food user. Oh, we just died. <laughs> okay. Anyways, continue grinding here until 120 next time to smash the captains here you go located near the commanders again we're gonna defeat this one z skill oh, i think that's already damage <laughs> anyways oh i think there's a light fruit user here again so he tried to attack us see that oh he almost died i think it's time for us to defeat someone <laughs> one million punch there you go <laughs> good news guys we're gonna unlock our third skill at 500 power fruit there you go, the Golden Roar, let's check it out, here it is, anyways at 145 you can start defeating the Barbaric located near the Commanders, here it is, two skills only, that's enough to defeat this boss again, one X and C skill is enough, just a reminder you can buy the Soru in this island, I think it costs 50,000 bellies, okay? Here it is. There you go. Okay, so next island, Shark Island, at level 200. Time to grill some fishman. First one to grill is the Karate Fishman. So he is here, guys. You don't need to attack the mob surrounding it. Three skills is enough to defeat it. So again, you're gonna keep on grinding here until you reach level 230. Next up, start grinding the Sharkman, guys. This area is the best area to grind. Why? Because the quest giver is near and this boss spawns really fast. So as you can see, it's very easy to defeat too. Or maybe it's just that our damage is really high, okay? So at level 300, we are now moving to Barati or the chef ship. There you go. First target is the dark leg. It's located under or inside the ship. There you go. One, two, three, four skills. Two Z skills. One X and C skill. Okay, so after this mob, we are moving on to the next mob, defeating Dory. <laughs> so here he is, 
So how many hits? Let's count. That's one. That's two hits, guys. See that? The damage is too strong. So at level 400, we are moving to the next island, the Snow Island. And we're gonna start by defeating the Snow Soldiers. You only need to lure five. You only need to use two skills to defeat them. Okay, two more skills to unlock. And guys, good news. Again, we will be unlocking our fourth skill here. Requirement is 1,500 power food stats. So that skill is the Chain of Fate. There you go. So I'm gonna show it to you guys. One of the best skills. That is the chain, right? So aside from the chain, standard is damage. So guys, combine it with other skills, the damage is strong with the stun effect. Next mob, King Snow. So guys, we can now use all uh, four skills, right? There you go, one, two, three skills to defeat him. Bonus daily quest. You need to defeat four King Snows and you will get uh, four million experience. Guys, comparing it to the usual quest, which will give you 400,000. That's a lot of levels. Level 500, you can start defeating the little deer. Same island, guys. So here we go. We have four skills. That's one, two, three skills to burst it. So guys, again, leveling up is not a problem. Special mention to the item that you will get here, the horned hat. We're gonna wear this one because this is the one weared by Chopper, right? Anyways, next island, the desert island. We have three bosses here. First one is the Candleman. Here is the quest giver. So again, just one combo, one X, so V, and C skill. <laughs> you even don't need to use the Z skill for that. There you go. We are going to level up here until level 625. After that, we are moving to the next mob, the Bomb Man. So guys, while grinding here, check this out. There's a noob. Actually, it looks like a noob <laughs> was defeated by a mob. Anyways, again, we're gonna unlock our final skill here. And the requirement for that is 2,500 power fruit. So let's put our stats. There you go, finally, the Golden City. Guys, this skill is kind of OP. Why? Okay, so first, when you cast the Golden City, check that out, guys. Everyone inside this area will be damaged. So guys, imagine combining it with your Chain of Fate plus Golden Roar and 1 million punch. The damage will be really high, right? Okay, so for our next mob, the King of Sand, the last mob in this island. So again, with all the skills unlocked, I think there will be no question grinding. This will be really easy. You can defeat him inside his own castle or outside. There you go. See that, guys? He might even die without knowing that we're attacking him. Check this out. See that? Okay, at level 800, the next island is the Sky Island. So first... We're gonna stay on the lower part and beat Sky Soldiers. Check this out, guys. You can use your Golden City to lure them. See that? You don't need to run. They will attack you and then burst them with your skills. Okay? Very easy. Chain of Fate and one more skill and that's it. Okay, so we're gonna keep on grinding here until we reach level 850. Next stop, guys. Don't forget to buy the Observation Hockey. This one costs 1.5 million bellies. There you go. And after that... We are going to start defeating the ball man just near. There you go, the NPC where you can buy the observation hockey. Okay. So guys, that's it. I think we've already showcased all the skills. After this, at 900, you can start defeating the rumble man located here. But let's put the stats first. There you go, guys. Check this out. Stats, sorry, 3,314. And check it out. We can defeat almost all mobs with just one combo. So my technique here, start defeating Rumble Man and the, what do you call this, the name of the other one? The Ball Man, right? So defeat, I'm gonna show it to you. Defeat this one, after that, go straight to the other mob, I mean the Quest Giver. There you go, Ball Man, defeat it, use your skills, and after that, go back to Rumble Man, okay? So if you want me to make a video of 1 to max using this fruit, comment it in the comment section. It's nice to be playing King Legacy again, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom. Gamer Nom out.